You're coming out as the High Priestess Queen energy as well. Yeah. For many of you, I feel like you could be focused on your finances, your stability, your state of mind. Wow. For many of you, you're coming out as someone who could be taking a leap of faith. A leap of faith in a situation where you could be experiencing a breakthrough. Wow. A breakthrough after a restful period. This is a beginning after you taking a leap of faith, being spontaneous when it comes to communication, a new idea, strength in adversaries. I feel this is mental clarity, a victory, even if someone has yet to give you any clarity. I feel there could be a restful period after hardship, loss, worry. Wow, someone was testing you in a very big way. This is someone who knows they caused some type of negative change or experience in your life where they caused you to experience a great sense of pain. You're coming out as the Queen of Pentacles, someone who is down to earth, generous, caring, good news follows you. Wow good business sense as well please take it how it resonates but this is why you're coming out as the queen of cups and the high priestess you're tapping into a deeper sense of your intuition i feel there are secrets that you're tapping into through wisdom hmm. i also see hidden knowledge connected to you as well as the unknown mature energy wow connected to vision and creativity I could also be speaking to a mother or father figure, please take it how it resonates, but I do see you having truth and victory after hardship and loss. I see you defending self, hmm, setting boundaries after something challenging. I see you standing your ground after suffering through a loss, having a sense of anxiety or regret. I feel this is after an ending I sense you are now going through a transformation, a change, a new beginning after a loss, an end to a cycle. This is a renewal where there is sudden change after something hit you from left field out of nowhere. Wow. For many of you, you don't see this as positive change, but I do. You see it as a loss. You're worried about something. There's struggle here. Even if there is change in a positive way. You would like to see it more. Hmm. Wow. However, here with the Wheel of Fortune, you are about to step into a season of good luck. This is karma in a very good way, a turning point, movement in a positive way. I see opportunity coming for you after being patient. I see you releasing baggage here with the Six of Swords energy as well as the Three of Swords. You're releasing heartbreak, emotional pain after a break or breakup or betrayal, suffering, conflict, uh, love triangle, someone bringing competition through affairs with the heart, but something is coming into completion. Completion when it comes to the Wheel of Fortune and the World Card. This is a life cycle that is destined for you. This is ambition, progress, victory. You're about to control a narrative here. A narrative with intentions. Wow. You're in the first stages of something and you don't even see it. You don't even see you're in the first steps of something and you're about to make a really big choice that will only lead you to good news. I see you stepping into something real big after defending yourself and something that was senseless. I feel your heart was open to something and you were deeply disappointed or your heart was broken. I feel someone disappointed you in a very big way and caused you to reflect on what was given. Mm. Wow. But I see inheritance, old money, new traditions. You could be marrying to something, but I see legacy roots. I see a windfall coming in. I see someone creating something. This could be business. This could be something in career. Please take it out of resonates. That is not for everyone, but I also see spying. Someone's watching you watching choices creating opportunities so this is not who you think it is wow and this is definitely not who you're defending yourself against i feel someone is watching you and whoever it is has higher energy higher power values beliefs this is connected to choices hmm. 
This is connected to your legacy windfall, a huge change in your life that you didn't really expect. Let's get some more energy here. I feel there was a lot of heartbreak here and tears, but I feel something is coming into a sense of completion when it comes to migrating change. Hmm. I feel many of you had to make a choice whether to stay or go, but I feel you had to make a decision whether you wanted to or not. Something, a choice was made for you, hmm. causing many of you to go into calmer waters, accepting a lesson. Mm. overcoming some type of hardship many of you are now soul searching finding a new way of doing being living you're coming out as a giver someone who is in hermit mode doing big things creating balance after conflict you're following your heart you're following your heart here with the Knight of Cups, Ace of Wands is letting me know this is a new venture, something that is new to you. This could be just a new feeling, a new experience, a new location. Please take it how it resonates, but I do see you finding balance through patience and purpose. Wow. I see you finding balance through temperance and self-control after conflict or someone putting you in unnecessary conflict or disagreement through loss and betrayal. I see you finding a victory after some type of deceit. Hmm. So I see you walking away from some type of conflict that you feel you were trapped in. Hmm. You were trapped in some type of conflict dealing in lies, cheating, theft, sneakery. Hmm. Upheavals that someone will soon regret or they already do but they're not admitting this to you. I feel someone is regretting something, or this could also be your energy too. Please take it how it resonates with your message, please. But these changes, these are certain changes after chaos. This is an awakening for you. This is a breakthrough where I feel you're being watched by someone you're least expecting here. But it's only to enlighten you, transform you after sacrifice. Mm. You're surrendering after ongoing battle where you were worried. But I feel justice is about to make something fair. I see consequences. When it comes to a sub subconscious illusion, you're coming out as the Empress. I feel you're coming out of this in a very different way than how you went into it. As it seems the Most High is watching you closely in regards to something unexpected or a life-changing situation. Hmm. This is on or after before something is exposed to you hmm. because it's already been exposed to someone else this is why the tower moment is here this is an upheaval a sudden change of chaos where there is a breakup uncertainty a breakthrough a breakdown where there is confusion hmm. this is why many of you are letting go altogether or just proceeding with caution, which is rightfully so. There's regrets here. Someone's guilt is really getting to them, but they're trying to numb it away, wash it away through weaknesses, pity ways of getting through things, yet someone's still holding on to bad ways of doing it. So someone is still holding on to bad behaviors and their mischievous ways, as this energy is still coming out as blindfolded to their own lies and trickery, but I feel that is what they're choosing to do. This energy is lacking strength, lacking strength and loyalty to even realize how insecure they truly are. As I said before, this is runner energy who is codependent, never truly confident, but I feel they're losing confidence and fearful of the fact that you have found self or purpose someone is irritated by the fact that you're stepping into self focused on self wow so it almost feels like someone saying things or doing things even walking away was to get a response this energy is in the energy of resistance but this upheaval comes from someone's false way of thinking believing 
Wow. So for many of you, something is about to be illuminated or exposed when it comes to someone who had a dark way of thinking about you. Hmm. Someone who should be ashamed of their actions, who is now still stuck in a way of pretending that you should be reaching out or pretending they're waiting on you to make the first move. When I sense they are the ones who should be putting in the effort. This is someone who should be realizing their insecurities are only making something worse. I feel their insecurities are tapped into this tower moment where someone is making choices from behind the mask. Mm. So it feels like someone's angry that you could be healing or running away, escaping. This energy is in a dream state, confused. Confused to the fact that they have created their own nightmare. Someone is in denial about your unconditional love, the way that you choose to love, the way that you give love and even receive it. I feel this is someone who doesn't like the fact that you're soul searching, leveling up. As I said before, this energy is in a dream state about choices and insecurities, bad behaviors. This energy is coming out as mischievous and lost to the true ways. I feel this is someone who is very negligent, always abandoning and running away from situations, but I feel something is about to be proven to be a fact. I feel there will be brutal honesty, there will be honesty and clarity within a relationship, a commitment, a family where someone is isolating themselves, yet finding a new perspective or there's some type of transformation where something was left to mystery. There's a lot of secrets here, but I also feel there we will be balance, but I feel it will only come through a sense of fairness and justice where something wasn't fair before. I feel someone was lost in their own way of thinking, hoping that you'll finally reach out, but they're also in a way or in some type of belief where they're knowing they shouldn't hold their breath. This energy feels like they're gonna to have to make the first move and it's not gonna be before they drag something out. Because this energy is still mischievous, blindfolded, but they still know the truth about you, whether they want to or not. They still see you as a soulmate. I feel you had to sever ties with someone. There's a severance, it's a separation because of betrayal, someone's immaturity. I feel you had to use your intuition. I feel you learned a lot from this. I feel you learned a lot about someone's pride. And this is someone who is just not thinking deep enough for you. Deep enough to communicate, connect with you because of their fears and deception. Someone is detached. Detached from giving you the truth or even a sentimental apology. But I feel they're about to be vulnerable because of it. Someone's about to be vulnerable when it comes to something that is illuminated about them, exposed. Someone's about to be broken down brought to their knees to do the spiritual work. Wow. Someone's about to learn some harsh truths about the spiritual work, influences, loyalty, karmics. Someone's about to be put in a space where all they can do is reminisce and think about what could have been. I feel this is someone whose perspective has recently changed because of certain circumstances or situations or someone is thinking differently about you because they feel left behind. I feel this energy is also shocked. This energy is shocked after seeing you move on or leave them behind. Someone didn't see something coming or someone didn't realize something was so serious. But I feel it's something you did, it's something you said that is causing this energy to understand nothing that you said or did was a game. Nothing you said or did should have been taken lightly. Wow. Someone ghosted you for the fame, the status, what they thought they could get. So someone was resistant. <laughs> resistant because of the bad influences. I also feel someone put a key in their back. Pumped them up to make the choices they made against you. Wow. Someone's about to be put into a position to really regret that. As I feel you could be dealing with an energy who is completely shocked. 
So it seems like someone is completely shocked because they didn't think you would find a way to heal. Someone doesn't want you to come out of a certain space, level up without them. Because this energy is coming out as unmotivated, blindfolded, blindfolded to their own regrets. This energy is coming out as unmotivated, disconnected, and never satisfied. This is why they're always forcing something. Forcing something from behind the mask is someone who is coming out as someone who is empty or voided or they just feel empty inside. This is why they're going around breaking hearts, tarnishing the energy of others. This energy has a false way of thinking, a false identity that is almost explosive. Wow. Wasting time when it comes to something that's fading out. So this energy is misguided, misjudged, and they're feeling left out, blocked out from you. Someone feels like you have finally pushed them away or you have finally put, moved on from someone who never truly t tells the truth. For many of you, I feel you're just tired of this energy playing hide and seek or this energy showing up empty all the time, but this energy is also feeling trapped by something or someone or this could also be self-imposed restrictions for someone who never thought you would move on or find a way to heal from what they've done, what you have been through. Someone doesn't like the feeling of being left behind, but I feel this energy is full of drama, destructive tendencies that led them to financial worries and trouble at home trouble with stability, state of mind, someone turned their back on you because of past wounds and the fact that they are always in a mood. I feel when it comes to this energy you never really know what you're going to get because their mood is up and down but I also feel they're replaying something that you did or said. It's playing over and over in their mind yet they're also ignoring the red flags. This energy is in hiding, fighting at all costs because they're trying to conceal something. So from what I can gather, someone is trying to conceal something at all costs. They're fighting with you or fighting with themselves to keep something concealed that they're not wanting anyone to know about. I feel it's the trust issues and the weaknesses that cause them to be overwhelmed in a painful ending. Something is ending for them. Whether it is their pride, their ego, their sense of self, something is ending because of their tangled web of lies. Someone's acting delusional about it. So it seems like someone knows something is at an end. Something has reached its peak, but this energy is still moving in a way where something is not seeming to bother them, but this energy is truly bothered. I feel this energy is replaying something over and over in their head when it comes to situations at home, investments, things they failed to grow from because their finances have now been attached or affected. Hmm. But I feel many of you are hesitant to anything they say because they're coming out as a pathological liar. Someone who has and will lie for anything or any reason. As they are coming out as someone who is always testing your boundaries. But I feel like this energy is tested because testing you because they feel tested. This energy is stressed out, always stressed out because you're not a pushover. You're not allowing them to just have their way. Which is causing them to orchestrate something, forcing their control the, their control by being overly aggressive about something. They're always on the defense about the fact that they can't tame you. Wow. Someone is wanting you to cling to something. Someone is wanting you to feel empty. Someone is wanting you to feel just as empty as they do. I feel this is someone who is just not ready to evolve. So they're in a space in life where they're not ready to heal. They're not ready to heal and they don't want you to heal either. Someone doesn't want you to heal from what you have been through or they believe you evolving mentally or spiritually only means you'll grow out of them. 
the synergy feels like if you change, they'll eventually get left behind. So they could be doing things to keep you attached to who you used to be or who they thought you were, causing them to lash out or create a narrative where you're the issue. But I feel this energy is feeling the way they do, never satisfied, feeling empty because of what they have attached themselves to, what they have invested in. They feel abandoned in some type of way because something is just not working out. They feel like you have drawn a line after they have tested you or pushed you too far. I feel this is someone who could be hot and cold, abusing things and going the limit because you're feeling safer in solitude and they're on the edge. I feel this energy is on the edge, talking, gossiping, acting like a fool because of this outdated way of thinking or being. Someone is hiding true motives that only keeps them triggered. Triggered because they're finally facing their fears, facing their shadow self, and someone is truly triggered at the fact that you're healing or needing time to heal, which is why I feel they could be exaggerating something when it comes to you in some sort of sad effort to dim your light and discredit you as you've become too much pressure, too much to overcome or understand. Someone doesn't like the fact that you are no longer consumed by the thought of love, the idea of love, and someone is being very immature about it. Someone's being immature in this painful transformation period where the, their naive ways or naive way of thinking when it comes to love will definitely cause something to be a dead end connection but it's the dark attachments and the fact that they are repeating these toxic and deadly cycles of playing the martyr or playing the victim and someone's fake energy fake and phony energy of being consumed by their emotions and acting on it is only going to cause them to go down a dark path I feel this is someone who has already gone down a dark path, but someone is about to go deeper. I feel this is someone who is about to go deeper in some type of chaos that they created and they're wanting you to follow them. Follow them into a sense of madness that they don't even understand, as this is someone who is still blinded to a truth. Blinded to a truth and they play the victim on purpose. I feel this is someone who is giving snake-like vibes, someone who acts innocent but can betray, can cause harm. Someone is still hiding and fighting at all costs when they don't even have to. But I feel that it's out of sight, out of mind when it comes to someone who really may have blew things with you all because they couldn't understand or respect a good thing when they had it. I feel this is someone who failed to understand or respect the situation and this is why they try to dim your light and discredit you in some type of way. I feel this is someone who tried to discredit you because the situation became too much, you became too much pressure to handle mentally or spiritually, that they're too caught up in their own ways of thinking and being to realize they couldn't survive the same journey even if they tried to. Yet yeah, since they will soon see, they're not built for half of what you've been through, which they will come to find out is only their problem or their issue. Someone could be going through judgment here. This is a rude awakening when it comes to someone finding out something about you. Someone's being exposed, but they're also finding out something about you that they never knew. This energy is someone who thought that they knew you better than you knew yourself but i feel something is being exposed in a very big way wow someone didn't see something coming they're coming out as a fool who has put themselves in a position to lose their rewards because ever since they left you or pushed you away they have yet to have a breakthrough however here with the eight of wands there will be some type of understanding exposure or some type of communication there will be some type of justice here page of wands king of wands as well as the 
Five of Pentacles and Eight of Wands. This is letting me know you're being watched in a way by the Most High where He is assessing your past actions as well as your future rewards. Wow. This is major because I feel something is happening at the same time where you're being rewarded. But it's like running hand in hand where I sense your reaction or the lack thereof is crucial in a situation hmm. where I sense if you choose to communicate, you must be mindful of your words. They will be used against you. Wow. So I do see Page of Wands, good news coming your way as your past actions are being assessed. I see brutal honesty when it comes to communication, five of pentacles, someone feels left out in the cold. Someone feels left out in the cold only because you're focused on self when you used to be focused on them. I feel four of pentacles is letting me know this energy is longing to have that attention. Yet someone is going through a realization that's going to bring them to their knees. This is foolish energy where someone doesn't see that you're about to step into a new phase. All they feel is the fact that you are now slipping away. I feel this is someone who has intrusive thoughts, nine of swords, because something has become uncertain. I feel this is someone who has self-imposed bondage energy because they are still blinded to... Uh, intentional truth that they're not wanting to realize or acknowledge as someone thought that something was supposed to be temporary to a source wow but now something is unset, uncertain unsaid when it comes to past present and future this is why someone is being strategic when it comes to talking or communicating with you I feel this is someone who is about to do something in a very senseless or reckless way just to prove a point that's completely pointless because from what I can see, you're about to find out something here. Communication doesn't have to be someone communicating with you. I feel this communication could also be someone, wow, exposing something. And you seeing it, hearing it, wow. Wow, this is coming out as almost life-changing because it's either going to push you to leave someone alone or... Hmm finally understand why they have done something to you. Wow. But whatever the case, is coming out as big news. Wow. Yeah, this is big news where uh, since you're about to find out something shocking about someone that will either release whatever hole they thought they had on you or I sense the answers you seek when it comes to someone who is reckless with the hearts of others is about to be exposed in a way they can never take back or even forget. As many of you are about to find out where you stand or even where you stood with this energy, whereas since many of you are about to find out how far to distance yourself from someone you thought you knew or could trust, they may have tried to destroy your life with lies and heartbreak whether that is unintentionally or intentionally something is about to be set in stone after a truth is finally exposed as I see someone feeling left out causing them to feel like they need to be strategic when it comes to something that they're uncertain about but this deception won't allow them to get by you something won't get past you when it comes to someone who is using deception to cut through the fog this is someone who is needing to be mindful of their dialogue, to have a mutual exchange with you, communicate. But as I said before, while you're in this peaceful state of transitioning into something bigger and better, the worst is not over because I do see a tower moment. I feel someone is about to step into a, a situation because they were waiting for the dust to settle. But I feel you're about to step into a new season as well. This is cycles of success for someone who loves unconditionally you're coming out as the empress someone who is going through an awakening as well but this judgment will bring in cycles of success for you here with the world card success after heartbreak and what you thought was a missed opportunity will soon be something you wish could have come sooner because it will happen in divine timing. I feel whatever it is is going to happen 
at a very inconvenient time, yet I feel something needed to take place. Hmm. Because for some of you, you never thought it would get this far. As I said before, you're coming out as uh, Empress Energy. Someone who's come going through a lot, but I feel the heartbreak that was given will also be received because just like you felt you missed an opportunity someone's about to feel that way in divine timing something will become something they won't forget hmm. I feel this is something that this energy will look back on all the time thinking about the possibilities of what ifs what if they could have treated you better type energy but something isn't over for them because after the dust settles, I see you stepping into a peaceful phase. Wow. But I feel you still have to be mindful of how you choose to react. React and even consume when dealing with this. All because someone's still being irrational. But I feel in so many ways, because of justice, they won't be able to accomplish what they thought they would. I feel this energy is coming out as being strategic, thinking they have to be strategic with their energy all because they know something or knew you could eventually destroy them with the truth, hmm. causing it to almost be detrimental in some type of way. Hmm. So it seems like all because they knew you could, could control something or eventually destroy them with the truth. Someone went left on a situation. They went all in on something when they didn't have to. Causing it to almost feel like they don't have a soul or they don't have a sense of sympathy for what they are doing or even what they have done. As it is harsh to even say that they don't have a soul or they, it seems like they don't have a soul. But it's almost all you can think about when they're always trying to steal and kill yours because from what I can see when it comes to the truth of whatever they're holding back or whatever is related to what's being exposed someone is holding on to everything trying to conceal it but I feel them holding on to it is the very thing that brings them down and this is why someone won't be able to accomplish something here yeah, cherry energy, someone won't be able to remove an obstacle. Someone won't be able to remove an obstacle or lay down roots, all because of what is exposed. And when it comes to what is exposed, I feel it's related to instant gratification and false ways of believing and thinking. But when it comes to this instant gratification, I see multiple partners, theft, scams, scheming, drugs, alcohol, you name it. This energy has stepped into the darker side of things. This is why you're not on the same page and this is why this energy is hard to read, vice versa. However, when it comes to the false way of thinking, they believe love is conditional and only tolerable under convenience. This energy is coming out as a user and abuser, only in it for self and resources and things that never really truly matter, material ways of thinking. This energy is also coming out as surface level, only thinking about how things are perceived or how they look in a situation and this is why someone is falling apart or will be at their worst when something is exposed hmm. because it's almost the very thing they fear for many of you something is about to be exposed when it comes to new life and even death things they did for money or the countless lies sex partners and mental issues that have been left unkept, unresolved. Hmm. I feel it's all about to be exposed. Not only exposed, but revealed in a way that they least expected. Hmm. But I feel it will be in the worst way. I feel this energy could be in hermit mode, feeling trapped, eight of swords. Feeling trapped, 
because they want to have a mutual exchange, but they know they need to be mindful of how they communicate. This is someone who thinks about the possibilities, but they're still not giving in to the possibilities. And this is what's causing this peaceful phase for you. Because as soon as this energy steps in, there will be a tower moment. This is why the worst isn't over when it comes to the past. But I feel something is about to happen in divine timing that neither of you expected. But something will be revealed when it comes to what you thought was a missed opportunity in love. I feel this energy didn't expect something when it comes to how you treated a situation or got over something or even accepted it. This is what's causing someone to go within or go deeper. I feel for many of you, you don't even know you may have pushed someone to finally be their best self. I feel this is someone who has a long way before they get there, but I feel you're one, you're one of the reasons why. They finally do. I feel the fact that you have stepped into a better space after someone carelessly broke your heart. Wow. Only made you a better person to root yourself in bigger and better values. I feel something is about to help you lighten the load. Ten of Wands. Nine of Wands is letting me know you're letting something go. Especially when it comes to who you are and who you want to be and things of the past. I feel you're about to master something when it comes to heart-based logic, thinking. This is a transformation period where you're about to tame the inner beast. Wow. Fine temperance and mental clarity. And whether that is given to you or given to self, I see you finding a sense of clarity and understanding emotionally. I see you emotionally finding balance and bearing the past and communicating in what you need and what you don't want as I sense they're about to understand the truth about you that they never expected but I also feel they're about to understand that while it's attached to some of their biggest fears as it is not only being exposed for their truth but also being written out of your, your life for good because you're standing your gown and finding the strength to walk away because you already know that none of this will show up good. Nothing may shade or do is coming up roses when it comes to an unspoken thought, an unspoken love. Many of you are on the fence, but I feel you're about to let go of five of cups and move on because you know your worth. Many of you know your worth if you're about to find out if you don't because you're about to be in a space where you're taking care of self and relentless about it. And in doing so, you're stepping into wishes fulfilled, Nine of Cups. Wishes fulfilled and new options, new ways of thinking, new ideas, and even if it's stability, I see you growing and being stronger and wiser for those around you. And while they're still being unreasonable and setting themselves up to fail, by being spiteful and unforgiving when it comes to you, they're proud to prove a point that you have already come to or understood for a very long time. As this last interaction or message received from them will be all you need to finally gain that closure or peace that you seek. However, for a select few of you, this will set up a chain of events that can't be avoided or even stopped. I feel this is someone who really is about to push something to a point that something can't be retrieved. But as I said before, all of this has purpose. Many of the things that are about to have a ripple effect or a chain effect was meant to happen. This is why something cannot be avoided or stopped as it is meant for those who choose not to see the opportunity to understand, see, and feel what has been concealed. Because whatever that's been concealed about them for this long is about to be exposed. And as I said before, it's going to be in a very big way, in a way that someone never truly expected, but it was bound to happen. This is someone who should have saw something coming, and trust me, once they do realize what it is, it won't be something that they want to see or even like, as it will only be the honest truth, and the universe really doesn't care. 
if they like it. I hope you guys have enjoyed the reading. 